Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo. Welcome to the Morning Coffee with Father Jerry. Our text for today's Gospel Reflection is from the book of John, chapter 21, verses 1 to 14. It says, Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Galilee. It happened this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, also known as Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, the two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them. And they said, We'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. He called out to them, Friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net because of the large number of fish. The disciples, whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. And soon, as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him for he had taken it off and jumped into the water. The other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish, for they were not far from the shore, about a hundred yards. When they landed, they saw a fire of burning coals there with a the fish on it and some bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. So Simon Peter climbed back into the boat and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish, 153. But even with so many, the net was not turned. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. What is it for us? What is God's message for us? This is the third time Jesus shows himself to his disciples, not counting his appearance to the women who went to the tomb. First is with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. The second is with his disciples who were gathered in the upper room. And now the third time is with his disciples that went fishing in the lake of Tiberias. It was so it was one of those nights when fishes don't bite their baits, and of course, they caught nothing. Their luck is as dark as the night when they went fishing. But with the advent of dawn, their luck changed. A stranger told them to drop their nets on the right side of the boat, and they caught plenty of fishes. It is John who recognized the Lord first. After all, he is the one considered as the beloved disciple. But it was Peter who really approached the Lord first. 
The loaves and the fish that awaited them on the shore is too familiar experience to all of them. They could not be mistaken. The Lord is truly risen from the dead. Why didn't the apostles immediately recognize the Lord when he greeted them at the Sea of Tiberias? That's the question. John gives us a clue. He states that Peter had decided to return to his home, district of Galilee, very likely so he could resume his fishing career. Ibig sabihin, at this point, he was still grieving because of the death of a dear friend. Sabi natin, wala pa siya sa kanyang sarili. Or sabi ng iba, hindi pa niya tanggap yung buong pangyayari. So Peter was very likely, Peter was discouraged and didn't know what to do after the tragedy of Jesus' death on the cross. The, huwag kalimutan na it was Peter who was so discouraged every time Jesus speaks about the cross. He went back to his previous career out of despair and uncertainty. The other disciples followed him back to Galilee. Sumulod na lang yung iba niyang kasamahan. When was the last time Peter was commanded to let down his net after a futile night of fishing? It was at the beginning of Jesus' ministry in Galilee when the Lord dramatically approached Peter in his fishing boat after a futile night of fishing and commanded him to lower his nets. Sounds familiar? Parang same experience when Peter first saw the Lord when he was invited to come and follow him. So same thing dito sa tabi ng dagat sa may <coughs> Galilee. This time naman, more or less the same scene or eksena ang nangyari, pero this time after na sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. After the miraculous catch, Jesus told Peter that he would be catching people for the kingdom of God. Now, Jesus repeats the same miracle. Kasasabi ko lang. John, the beloved disciple, is the first to recognize the Lord. Peter impulsively leaps from the boat and runs to the Lord. Do you run to the Lord when you meet setbacks in your life or disappointments or trials or tests the lord is ever ready to renew us in faith amidst any doubt and to give us fresh hope in his promises to us so our challenge skeptics who don't believe in the resurrection say the disciples only saw a vision of jesus Sabi nga nila. The gospel accounts, however, give us a vivid picture of the reality of the resurrection. It's no longer just a vision, but a reality that really Jesus came back to life. Jesus went out of his way to offer his disciples various proof of his resurrection, that he is real. And he is true flesh, not only a spirit or a ghost. In his third appearance to his apostles, after Jesus performed the miraculous catch of fish, he prepared a breakfast and ate with them. John's prompt recognition of the Master, it is the Lord. And Peter's immediate response to run to the Lord, stands in sharp contrast to Peter's previous denial of Jesus, his master, to teach of us as we open our hearts to hear his word. Do you recognize the Lord's presence in your life today? And do you accept his word with faith and total trust? Okay, let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. 
increase my faith in the power of your resurrection and in the truth that you are truly alive. As John the Apostle said, it is the Lord. May I never doubt your life-giving word nor stray from your presence in my life every day. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay, so paano ito kapatid? Don't forget to finish your coffee. Magandang buhay ulit and see you on Monday.